Give honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rachapodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And as they say, Shalom one to the Akim that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. This is going to be a really quick video. Um, not very much to say about this. You know, I'm just going to read a, a scripture on this, and that's, that'll be about it for this one. Uh, around 100 people killed in a fire at a wedding hall in Iraq, okay? Uh, the the blaze seemingly, I'm reading down here under the title, the blaze seemingly caused by fireworks set off to celebrate at the event in Nineveh, all right? Nineveh province, all right? A, a predominantly Christian, Christian area just outside of the city. In, uh, I believe it says Mosul, all right? So, uh, you know, again, not, not very much to say about this. The scripture is going to explain it all, man. You know, the scriptures always explain it all. It says a raging fire caused by, uh, seemingly caused by fireworks to set off to celebrate a Christian wedding. All right. Consumed a whole pack with guests in northern Iraq, killing around 100 people. So it says and uh, injuring 150, 150 others as authorities warned Wednesday, which is today um uh because this was posted nine o'clock 903 p.m last night okay so uh it says authorities warned wednesday the death toll could ri still rise so this is just a hundred so this so counted as a hundred plus you know ki people killed and maybe 150 plus people injured so this is just recorded for right now because you know as days go by the the, you know, the numbers start racking up so again, not very much to say about this. Let you know the scriptures is always explain it, man. All right, even in even in my ramble sessions, the scriptures always bring it home, man. Is the, uh, Isaiah chapter sixty, Isaiah chapter sixty six, verse fifteen. It says, "For behold, the the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, okay, and to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire." <laughs> Look, man, I'm gonna tell you something, man. In the new covenant, this ain't gonna be happening. Okay, you got a lot of people. The latest, the latest one that that I heard say that we're in the new covenant is this bug out that calls himself Jonathan. All right, he calls himself uh, Jonathan. Right, you know the, the same Jonathan, in in uh, you know that was, you know what I'm saying was Saul, Saul's son. You know what I'm saying? He calls himself Jonathan, and he says we're we're in the new covenant. Okay. So if we're in a new covenant, why is it why why is stuff like this happening? This stuff like this ain't gonna be happening, all right? The Lord is angry with this place, man. All right? No Christian weddings and stuff like that is gonna be happening in a new covenant. I'm talking about this plantation of Christ, uh, uh, Christianity, man. None of that stuff, all the, all these religions and all this other stuff that's going about, man. You know what I'm saying? You. It, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, first off, you, if we're in a new covenant, you wouldn't need to tell me we're in a new covenant. That kills it all. That kills it all. If we're in a new covenant, you wouldn't need to tell me. I would know that we're in a new covenant. I wouldn't be going back and forth with you saying that we're, that we're, whether we, whether or whether we're not in a new covenant. That kills all that. Why are you telling me that then? Right? Why are you telling me that then? The Lord is, the, man, the Lord has had it with this place, man. Right? It says, for by fire and by his sword will, will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. That's the main point of this. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Uh, the, was that a volcano? I mean, was yeah, was that a, it was that, not a volcano, was that fire? I think that it happened in, uh, shit, what was, what was the latest one? It happened, it happened so many, man, so many places get these fires and kill people. I know, I think it was one in Africa, and I think it was maybe one in, in Hawaii, maybe, right? And you see, you see in these large groups of number, you know, you see in these large numbers of people dying now, man, right? Because the slain of the Lord is going to be many. This right here, you know, people think that this is, you know, a, a great, a, you know, a great big deal, man, when... When, when Lord Yahweh Ba Shemiel Shah is ready to pour his spirit out upon this place, man, this ain't nothing, man. You know, we're in, we in the midst of a governor, uh, another another shutdown. And, you know, these are these are trial runs, man. Wait until real hell kicks off. See, I remember not too long ago, you know, uh, Jake was sitting in a car. And um, 
uh, one of the brothers had, had told him, yeah, man, because this get ready to be a third world country. You know, it should get ready to get real. And the Jake said, well, it, it, it already is. It already is. You will know whether it is or isn't. You know what I'm saying? And right now, it ain't. We're, we're, it's heading to it, and it's, it's bad now, no doubt. But the shit, shit ain't even happened yet, man. Everybody talk about, yeah, it's already happened. We already in one. No, we're not. No, we're not. Not yet. You know what I'm saying? No, we're not. You will know. <laughs> You'll know. Cause we would you first off, you wouldn't need to tell me whether we are or, or or whether we are or whether we're not in a third world country, man. Just everybody would know. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it would it's getting to that point. But it ain't shit happened yet, man. Right? Everybody talk about, yeah, man, it's real out here, man. Man, you wait until you, man, man, I'll tell you, man. You wait until things really start getting real. You know? Everybody got something to say now, man. Everybody got their opinions. Everybody, Everybody's just, a, you know, a, a guru and a genius, a, a critic, man. You know what I'm saying? But you wait until stuff start, start, start getting real, man. Then this real, the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay, we skip it down to verse 18. Because that's why I know their works and their thoughts. And it, and it shall come, right? It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues and they shall come and see my glory. How are they going to do that, right? Because you got the Christians out there that will say, see, it's about all nations. When we talk about the other nations and we talk about the kingdom of heaven, we're not saying that they that they aren't going to be there. All nations is going to be, you know what I'm saying? All nations are still going to remain, except Esau at the after a certain period of time. But all the all the nations are going to remain, right? But they're going to be under the Israelites. The Israelites are going to be ruling. Okay, there was always a nation that ruled. Right now, it just so happened to be Esau, Edom, right? Uh, so yes, in the kingdom, yes, he's going to gather all nations. Oh, this is starting with the Israelites, though. Let's get that. Let's get that straight. Uh, after that, under the Israelites is going to be the other nations, because there is there are going to there is going to be no different culture this and different religion that. Absolutely not. All nations are going to all going to follow the Lord, man. They're going to have to reference us. You know what I'm saying? Through the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because we're going to be the rulers of the earth. Israelites are going to be the rulers of the earth, and the other nations are going to abide by the rules. You know what I'm saying? Like like Rick said in the Walking Dead, everybody think they know the rules. <laughs> you know? You know what I'm saying? They don't know a damn thing right now, man. Everybody follows after their own, after their own gods. Everybody follows after their own religions, and it ain't gonna be like that in the kingdom, man. But but back to the point, man. The slain of the Lord is gonna be many. All right. So like I said, not very much to say. Not very much more to say on this. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemiel Shai Shalom.